right, I started the video, so I have to, I gotta keep it going. We have to say something now. We have to make this video now. So I started the video. <laughs> Duh. Um, wow. All right, here we are. I have been feeling um, called to make videos uh, regarding just like young adulthood, career, all the things, and here I am. So, if you came to this video, you're here for a reason, and I want to speak life into you today. Young adulthood is literally such a train wreck. <laughs> Honestly, adulthood in general is a train wreck. Let's train heck train heck yes a train wreck let's be real it's just all sorts of nuts <laughs> all sorts of nuts <laughs> anyways but and I'm like since I graduated high school I've just been so so frustrated hey UPS how's it going um I've been so frustrated with just like how confusing life is and how everyone else is just as confused but no one can like speak to that confusion and so I want to be that person for you today I want to be that person that can speak to that confusion to that overwhelm all the things I want to be that person that can speak that life into you and I hope that I hope that it does speak to you today I hope that this resonates with you um, and I hope that the Lord speaks through me just uses me as a vessel to be able to speak to you so today I've had a very <laughs> interesting morning um, and that's a whole other story in itself but I'm feeling I, I made the goal for myself last night to make this video and I'm feeling inspired from this morning as well so it's in great timing as you can see it's raining love it it's like setting the vibe <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so we're all cozied up in my car, um, and I know it's like ratchet of me, I never say that word, but like not bougie of me to be filming this on my phone and like on the whim, but like I am not here to make excuses, so we're just gonna post this, film it, post it, done, no excuses, got it? Okay, hopefully you're cool with that, but today, I, what's on my heart right now is is dealing with just confusion and feeling like cluttered like your mind's just cluttered and like there's not you don't have a clear focus that is such a hard place to be in I feel you when you don't have a clear vision you don't have a clear focus and you just don't have a clear idea of what your purpose is what what not even like your purpose as a whole it could literally just be the next step you don't even have a clear focus on what the next step is that is such a hard place to be in. I know that feeling. I feel you. I am here with you. And I want to speak life over you regarding that. Regarding that topic. Regarding that area that you're in today. So. <laughs> something that really spoke to me. On my drive back from an event today. I was thinking and just like praying. And something came up for me. Because I can get just so frustrated when I don't have a clear focus. And I'm like, Lord, what's going on? Like, is this for me? What should I do? Just give me an answer. <laughs> like, I can just get so frustrated when I don't have a clear focus and a clear vision. Um, and something that was put on my heart was the story of Peter walking on the water. Like, do you think that he had the vision, the clear vision in the midst of a storm to see Jesus and to have like to have a, like that clear focus do you think he had that in the storm no he was in the midst of chaos and was confused like what's going on is that a ghost <laughs> but yet he knew Jesus by his voice and I think that's so powerful because if he didn't know Jesus by his voice, he wouldn't have been able to have that encounter with him and walk on water and and walk towards Jesus and demonstrate his faith. 
in the midst of chaos, in the midst of not having vision, that he could barely even see Jesus, but yet he heard his voice, and so he knew, and he had confidence that that was Jesus. And the only reason he had that confidence was because of his close relationship with Jesus, his direct line to God. That's the only reason he had that confidence, and knowing that that is Jesus' voice, that is my master's voice, that's my father's voice. He had that confidence because of his relationship. He didn't have the clear vision. He was in the midst of chaos. It wasn't a perfect, the perfect circumstances, but yet he knew Jesus' voice, which is why he was able to walk on water and take that leap of faith and step outside the boat. And then something that ties in with that, that I just love, the verse came to my mind after I had thought of that story and how that connects. The verse, John 10, verse 27, came to my mind, and it's, My sheep listen to my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I'm going to read it one more time, because it's really short. <laughs> my sheep listen to my voice. I know them, and they follow me. In a way, we are God's sheep. <laughs> And we're called to know his voice. And when you know his voice, that means that you're in close relationship with him, that you're following him, that you're committed to your, to your walk with the Lord, with your creator. And when you have that relationship, you might be in the midst of all these other sheep around you, and you might not be able to see your master up ahead, but you hear his voice. So you know your next step. You just follow his voice. You might be blinded by all these other sheep because they're all in front of your face and hitting you back and forth. But it's okay because you have your focus on your master's voice. And that really spoke to me, that realization, and just that reminder really on my drive back from this event this morning. Because it's so easy just to like stay in that, that cloudy vision and just be like, I need an answer, I need an answer, I need an answer, I need, I need clarity, like give me clarity. I can't take my next step until I have that clarity, that confidence, that confirmation whatever it may be but really we're going to be waiting all day if we are waiting for that clarity that confirmation that answer we are going to be waiting all day most of the time <laughs> sometimes it happens but more often than not like we have we have to just take that next step and we have to these are the times where having that close relationship with God is so, so, so important with your creator. It's so important because that, that is what gets you the next step, his voice. Knowing his voice will get you to the next step. Not clarity. Not money. Not that word from a friend. It might encourage you, but knowing his voice, knowing knowing when he's speaking to you, knowing the truth in his word, what he speaks over you, what your identity is because of his identity, that he, and what he's spoken over you through his word. When you know his voice, there is no question on who you are, on where to go. There's no question. And honestly, I'm speaking this over myself because it can be hard, especially as a young adult. Especially as a young adult, it's so hard to know, like, Lord, what career is for me? What is for me? What do you have for me? And I believe that he is speaking this to me today, to you, and saying that stop looking for clarity. 
Stop looking for all the answers. I need you to listen for my voice. I need you to get quiet. I need you to get still. I need you to listen to my voice. I need you to read your word. I need you to know my voice. I need you to be confident in my voice. Peter, Peter had to have been confident in Jesus' voice for him to even be able to take that step on the water. There's one thing to know God's voice and there's another thing to be confident in it. And Peter not only knew his voice, but he was the only one that was confident in it on that boat to step out on the water and walk towards Jesus. I believe that that's our answer today. That it's time to go, go in your word and write down what the Lord says about you. Write down what his identity is so you can be more confident in your identity and you can have that in your mind when you need it the most. The truth, the word, you can have it as tools as you walk throughout life when chaos hits you hard. You can have those tools in your back pocket, which is the word. So, yeah, I just wanted to, to make this video for somebody that's feeling really just lost. Maybe you're a believer, maybe you're not. I don't know your story. But personally, I, I believe the stories in the Bible. I believe there's truth to them. And I believe that they can apply to anybody in their life. <laughs> uh, and they encourage me and I hope they can encourage you. And I hope this, can, this applies to you in some way that you can use it. I hope that you're encouraged today. You're not in this alone. I mean, even Peter questioned himself while he was on the wall he started to look through to all the chaos and lost his focus you don't have to have a clear focus he didn't have a clear clear look at Jesus there was the wind the waves he didn't clearly see Jesus but he knew his voice and he was confident in his voice and he had enough faith to try he had enough faith to take the next step and God met him halfway. God met him, especially when he fell. You know, God was there to pick him up. And I believe that that is true for all of us today. You don't need to have all the answers. You don't even need the next step. I mean, in a way, this video is a next step because we can go read his word and know who he is. Uh -huh. And the challenge today is to is to lean more into that, to be able to know his voice. So we don't have to get confused and weighed down by the chaos of life. But instead we can, we can be confident, walking with our head up high on the water, because we know Jesus' voice. We know that that is our Father's voice. So, I'm encouraging you today. I hope this speaks to you. And I just, I want you to know that you're not alone. You are chosen, that you are loved, that the Lord wants to speak to you. And there's just so much in store for you. <laughs> All right. You got this. Because God's got you. Got it? <laughs>